Hi and welcome back to another devlog episode. Before we kick it off, I want to say massive thank you to Soap Turtle and NMU Gamer and everyone else for their support on Patreon. Absolutely amazing to see your support and I really do appreciate it. I think this is going to be a really fun week. At the end of the week, I'm going to show you some gameplay of the first map, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully, if my friend has time, he's going to come over and we're going to do a two-player playthrough of the first map. So the first thing I'm going to work on today is just continuing off with the shrooms uh, because they're kind of buggy still. Uh, sometimes you just kind of explode and, and just go very big. So I'm still trying to work on a solution because I really think the shrooms are fun when they have these side effects that make you small or big or kind of mess with your body parts. I just have to find a way to make it work without completely glitching out the entire game. But other than that, I've just been working a bit more on the dialogue system, so you can now skip dialogue by pressing the interact button. Essentially what this means is, if there's a long text writing out, then you can just press the button and the entire text is gonna show instantly. And then if you press again, it's going to show the next text or exit the dialogue if you're finished. And then I spent like one or two hours recreating a budget Minecraft version because I'm too poor to buy Minecraft. So there you have it, um, I don't really know. Hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more productive, I'll be starting to work properly on the random map generation and uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the week we'll have a playable map. It's Wednesday and it's time to get started properly with the random map generation. If you remember from last episode, I was using ray casting to find positions to spawn different elements in the world. Uh, I did have some problems because sometimes it would try to spawn things under the traps or on the bridge, uh, but I've now implemented some functionality to avoid that problem. Now all we need to do is actually spawn stuff. So we need some arrays to hold all of the objects we are going to spawn. So uh, for the trees and for the chests and for the enemies and NPCs, and all of that good stuff. Here you can see the ray casting in action. There is a bit of a problem though, the trees won't actually rotate according to their surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a point of contact on which the ray cast hit and then we're gonna find a normal vector from this surface and find a rotation based on that. So I've done all of the coding now, let's put it to the test and all of the trees disappeared. Oh, yeah, sure. Second try, here we go, and uh, almost, I mean, it's it's pretty close. And there we go, the trees will now uh, rotate according to their surface. Uh, sometimes they have a bit of an extreme angle, but I think it's fine, it's not like this is real life, so not really a problem. I don't actually want to spawn the trees like this though, because now they're just kind of continuously spawning, uh, but I want to spawn them in like small and big forests. Uh, but we'll get to that soon. First off, I want to work on just spawning the rocks and bushes. Because once I get that in, I think it's going to look a bit more lively and, and, and fun, I guess, and interesting. So yeah, and here you can see the results. It's looking pretty chill. We've got some, some rocks and some bushes just randomly spawning across the map. And here is the result of pretty much everything I've done today. So I've now implemented chests and I've also made it so a merchant always spawns on the map somewhere. Uh, it's going to be random where he spawns, but he will always be there so you can buy something from him. Uh, obviously the forest looks a bit dumb now, but I think I'll fix that tomorrow and make him spawn like in, in forests and not actually just continuously through the map. Uh, because I don't like it when there's the whole map is a forest. I think it looks a bit weird. But I'm gonna go hit the sack now and I'll continue tomorrow. It's Thursday and I'm starting off the day by editing together the day in a life video, which is why this devlog started on a Tuesday and not a Monday, because I already showcased the Monday in a day in a life video. I'm finished with the day in a life video and I've just been working on the randomly generated forests across the map and you can see that in action here. So sometimes you have kind of long forests and sometimes they're kind of short. Uh, so they will be spawning with different sizes. If you remember from last episode, we added apples to the game, but now we have to actually implement them into the map. And the way I did this was making them hang down from trees. It's a pretty simple solution and basically by attacking them with your sword you can make them fall down on the ground and then you can eat them. Now all we need to do is make a very simple script that instantiates objects with a certain chance. So there will be a small chance that apples spawn in the trees and then you can slice them down. 
Here you can see what the random apples look like. So they will spawn randomly on the trees with a certain chance. Sometimes you'll find a lot of apples and sometimes you won't find any apples. And here is what the result looks like. So uh, you can now walk around on the map and sometimes you'll find apples hanging from the trees. I've also worked on implementing the thief bushes, if you remember when I made those. Basically, sometimes bushes will have a small chance of thieves jumping out of them. And I've made it so if one thief bush spawns, then there's a high chance that more will spawn too. So you will kind of be surrounded by thieves jumping out of bushes. But that's going to be it for today. I'm pretty tired now, so I'm going to go hit the sack and I'll be back tomorrow. It's Friday boys and it's time to get to work. Now, as I mentioned earlier this week, my friend is coming over tomorrow and we're gonna play test the first map. But before we do that, there are some annoying issues that I have to fix. First off, when enemies are fighting each other outside of the screen, the screen still shakes and this just kinda looks weird. Secondly, when enemies are fighting each other, they sometimes enter slow motion outside of the screen, which is also annoying. And there are some other small things like traps, uh, when they activate the camera goes down and this can be annoying when you're not even looking at the camera and also sometimes you can't open chests. So hopefully I can fix all of this today. And here we go, all of the issues should now be solved. If enemies are fighting outside of the screen there should no longer be a screen shake. Enemies can no longer start slow motion with each other but they will have to fight a player. And when you activate the trap, the camera will only change if a player is nearby. So you won't have the uh, camera suddenly moving down because someone walked into a trap. All of these fixes have made the map much more enjoyable and I'm looking forward to trying it out tomorrow. But that's going to be it for today. It's Friday evening. I'm going to go chill out a bit, hit the sack and then tomorrow I'll get working a bit more. It's Saturday and I want to start off the day by just working a bit on the coins because currently they all come out at the same time and it just looks a bit strange so I'm gonna try and give them a bit more gravity and make them spread out a bit more and also make them continuously come out so they don't just all pop out at the same time. First off I made them spread out a bit more and then I started working on the actual continuous rain of coins. I did run into a little bit of a bug but that's fine, I quickly fixed it, and here is the result of the gold rain fountain thing. I also got a lot of feedback on the coins and how I should do the coin system. Some people said I should do colored coins, and some people said I should do metal coins, like in bronze, silver, and gold. So I ran a little poll on my Discord server, and the majority voted for metals. So we are doing metal coins. First off, we're gonna completely redesign the coins because they looked really bad previously. That was kind of just a placeholder. So we're gonna make bronze, silver and gold coins. Here's what it looks like in game. I've given all the coins their appropriate particle effect and you can tell up in the left corner that you are actually getting the amount of gold you should from each coin. So bronze gives you one coin, silver gives you five coins and gold gives you 10 coins. I've also finished up the exchange system now. So for example, if you kill an enemy worth 19 gold, you will get one golden coin, one silver coin and four bronze coins. But now my friend is coming over and we are going to try out the first map. He's also the guy who's made all the music that I'm using in my videos. So go check him out. There is a link in the description down below. Uh, and yeah, give him some love.
all in all we had a lot of fun and I also realized a lot of things that need to be changed. Probably the biggest one was that you seem to get stuck in enemies and your teammates a lot. So I need to probably change the hit detection on the players to continuous because uh, it's a bit annoying when you keep getting stuck in your teammate and you can't really get out of him. Another big problem is that all of the dead bodies make it really hard for the enemies to even walk around. So I think I'm gonna make it so dead enemies will just kind of fade into the background and not actually be uh, collidable with our players. But that's going to be it for today. I'm gonna go hit the sack now and I'll be back tomorrow. It's finally Sunday and it's time to edit together this week's devlog episode. I've also opened up a fan art section on my Discord server because uh, Syntax requested it and so I'm gonna show off some of the fan art here. There's some really cool stuff and a lot of talented people that have posted their fan art and I just want to say massive thank you, it's really cool to see all the fan art. Also, massive shout out to all my Patreon supporters, you're all amazing for letting me do this, and I think that pretty much sums it up. Also, before we leave, um, Mikkels has a message for you all. Danny? Okay, I'm sorry to like interrupt you, okay? I just I just think you need to, to, to hear this. Oh,